Miami had the ball, a grand total of 17 seconds on that possession. Holmes is deep. Got a lot of room to work with here. Holmes to the 30. And then heads out of bounds, shy of the 35-yard line. And injured Dolphin on the play is Nolan Carroll. He is on the Jets' sideline. Boy, it looked like he got tripped by one of the uh, members of the Jets' staff. Well, this is just uncalled for in the NFL. Watch the knee here being stuck out on purpose to trip up Nolan Carroll. Not sure who that person is, but they should be ashamed of themselves for that type of action. That has no place in any athletic event. Quality in a coach. Let's go down to Jim Gray. All right, Mark Schlereth was just sent off by Jerry Markwright to be wiped off. He had some type of a sticky substance on him. Now he's checking back into the game. They're checking him out, and the referee will now allow him to stay. But they're wiping some of the substance off a number of the Denver Broncos, and now Gary Zimmerman yeah. is being uh, is uh, attended to over on the sideline. There must be something uh, on their shoulders. Next. Yeah, it, it's not a sticky substance. They don't want things to stick to the uniforms. It's a slippery substance, so... A silicone spray. I would yeah. think something like that, and the Kansas City Chiefs probably said something to Jerry Mark Bright. He saw it, probably felt it, making these players get it wiped off. Deion Grant's been in the league for a while. Miraculously, he recovered quickly. 34. Oh, wait, we had two guys go down and fake injuries. Yeah, I hate to say that wow. he's not really hurt, but that's a tactic that defenses have used in the past against no-huddle offenses to try to slow it down and stop the clock. Very few, hopefully, has more answers than that because they're on the ropes right now. Very not gentlemen. Uh, number seven here. This was clever, uh, although corrupt. 2009. Officials reviewing one of his catches. He borrows a dollar bill and pretends to bribe the official. Cost him $20,000. It's going to take more than a buck. I think we know that, right? Uh, Hurton will try a 44 yard field goal. Oh. And flags fly. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense for disconcerting signals as they called out a signal similar to the defense cadence. Wow. 15 yards will be measured half the distance to the goal oh. automatic. First down. Wow, you don't see that one very often. How many times in your life have you heard an official on a microphone use the word disconcerting? <laughs> now the Dallas Texans, after a conference with the officials, will have one more play and watch to the right of your screen as a fan comes on the field to help out the Patriots. Davidson goes back to pass. Throws in the end zone. The fan almost blocks it. It's ruled incomplete. And the Patriots win it 28 to 21. Well, the Steelers hit Bengals last night. Ben Roethlisberger fake took a hard hit from Cincinnati. Going to be down for a while now. They're going to have to burn a time. I'm down. Uh, uh, I tell you what. You know what? We, I, if we, we, is there another way to do it? All of a sudden, Emmanuel Sanders gets an unbelievable cramp. And Ben said, you are right, bro, stay down. Right, go down. Because then we don't have to we don't have to take a timeout. It's an injury. He misses a play. How could the Steelers do it without him? Now, eh, let me stretch. Ben's gonna pooch kick a play later. And guess who's down to field to make sure that ball doesn't go in the end zone? Emmanuel Sanders. I gotta give credit to the trainers for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's the fastest recovery I've ever seen. What doctors they have in Pittsburgh. Come on. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Great acting. Great acting. Do you want to snap this thing as soon as Vinovich says, let's go? Do you try to, do you block it or do you set up the return? You have the option of either. They've got 10 men up. They set up the return. And a fair catch. Goal by Leo Lewis. It comes with seven seconds, now six. Oh, Sideline. Oh, Walford, tremendous hands. Marion Stewart. Beautiful throw by Carr, but was he inbounds? That right foot kicks up green grass. Oakland trying to move quickly here. And there's the red challenge flag from Gary Kubiak. Vaughn Miller decides to uh, fake a cramp. Vaughn, you, you can get up now. The challenge play has been, uh, flag has been thrown out there. But the timing was curious to allow Kubiak to hear from upstairs that uh, this ball may have been out of bounds. 
Yeah, that's where Miller went down as the Raiders were trying to line up. Here go. Pass caught by Washington. Out of bounds. Controls. That's Jimmy Harper in motion. Here go. Pressure. Big hit. And that pass is out. Incomplete. Jim Moore right here takes his headset off. I've never seen a coach take a cell phone call on the sideline right there during the game. That's Ted Cruz, the PR assistant behind him that gave him the call. Animated call at that. Believe me, that's not his wife on the other end of the cell phone wondering about his Christmas gift. Head coach of the New England Patriots, Bill Belichick, said today he's focusing on this weekend's football game. Well, he may be, but the rest of the sports world is focusing on the news that his team illegally videotaped its opponent's signals. The NFL fined Belichick himself half a million dollars. His team, half that, and they'll forfeit some draft picks. Patriots coach Bill Belichick had an assistant videotape signals, or play calls, being sent onto the field by the New York Jets last Sunday. If they know before the snap of the ball what your coverage basically is, they can chew you up and spit you out. In this report, among other things, there are allegations of visiting teams' headsets mysteriously malfunctioning during a game. And one team was so paranoid about the Patriots sneaking into their locker room that they bolted their locker room door during a game, which is against Foxborough fire code. Among its other findings in the CSPN Outside the Lines article and also one from Sports Illustrated, we learned this. Originally, Spygate was believed to have been eight games taped between 2000 and 2007, but the National Football League's investigation, according to ESPN, was that the Patriots were involved in illegal taping of 40 games as opposed to eight. The league actually visited Foxborough Stadium. They were in a conference room, and they grabbed the evidence and literally NFL employees stomped on cassettes of 40 games, literally stomping plastic pieces of the cassette on the floor. They then took notes that were accumulated by Bill Belichick's assistant, Ernie Adams, and they put them in the shredder. The report also cites former Patriot coaches saying that low-level Patriots employees would sneak into the visitors' locker room and steal play sheets so the Patriots would know what the first 15 to 20 plays would be from their opponent in that particular game.